Hi everybody, how's it going? Not so great for me, unfortunately. And I hate making this kind of video because my last video, it, it's, it's almost like I wasn't moaning, but I'm getting a little bit fed up. Uh, if you did watch the last video, I'll put a link up, up there. Uh, the chassis on my Sprinter was split. I'll put some pictures in and you can see. But yeah, basically, my battery's down there. Uh, all my electronics are here. And underneath here, which is all boxed in, there's a hole. Now, my van is fitted with airbags. And when I bought it, I had a good look underneath and there was nothing wrong. Now, I can only presume that it's my fault that I've pumped the airbags up too much uh, to obviously make it look like a bit of a, a bit of a 4x4 type looking van. You know, jack it up quite high, it looks quite cool. And it handles a lot better as well. But in doing so, I've put extra strain on the chassis and it's split. As I said, I'll put some pictures in and you can see. So now, uh, it needs to be welded, it needs to be repaired. So, can't do it with all this in, especially with the battery down there. And it's all insulated, the whole van is fully insulated. So underneath the floor here, um, is this black stuff on the floor. And then on top of that is the, the Reflectix. Um, that's only in the back, in the front, it's fully insulated with that and 25 mil wood, 25 mil in, uh, Celotex, and then boarded over top, and then ply on top of that. So unfortunately, it's all got to come out, because on the 22nd uh, of September this month, it needs an MOT, and the little bit of corrosion is on the rear part of the wheel arch, but it's about 30 centimeters, just under 30 centimeters, away from the damper mount. So, as I'm an MOT tester, uh, it has to be welded and welded properly. So, in order to do that, all this, or as much of it, has got to come out. So that means I've got to turn all the electrics off, power down the fridge freezer. Uh, I'm not going to take all any of that out, but it needs to be done properly because obviously, you know, there's a lot of money here and a lot of time and effort. But unfortunately, due to my own stupidity of uh, not thinking when I'm designing the van about future repairs. So, this video is going to be a deconstruction video, and hopefully, um, someone out there can learn by. Well, learn from my mistakes so I will not I'm not going to beat around a bush I'm gonna take some painkillers and then I'm gonna have a beer and then I'm just gonna plod on and I will just periodically record so uh, I better start better get my finger out don't I? So, I'm talking about done but yeah Hey ho, we live and learn. Right, boxes are out, shelves clear. The difficulty now, oh excuse me, is this is all screwed on. So now I've got to feel where all the screws are. And I don't really want to wreck this. But if I have to, I have to. So the RAM's got to come off, the actuator's got to come off. That's not too much of a problem. But trying to find these screws, that will. So when I put them back on, I'm going to get like the little number plate fixers. Just I don't want it. I didn't want to see anything. I want it to be like seamless. But 
I need to future proof this van just in case anything else crops up. Hopefully it shouldn't do because I say there's a little bit of rust down underneath there is the only scab on the van. But obviously this is going to be my forever van so I need to make sure that any future repairs I won't have to do this again. So uh, better crack on I suppose. Right, so I'm at the point now where I've got the back end as part as much as I can without turning the power off. So, solar off, and then I'll go around the back and turn the power off. So here we are at the back of Cozy Sid. So, arrow, off. One dead van. Right, as you can see, this is all nice and brand spanking new. I uh, just sprayed this with the, you know, with the hammered texture hammerite, and that's when I noticed this split. So in order to get this out, I've had to hammer up underneath here, so that I can get this plate out there. Undo that bolt. There's one the other side, and there's obviously oh, <coughs> that one there and the other side. So I'm now going to have to take the airbag out. Uh, I'm not going to film this bit. I don't think you need to, uh, you don't need me to show you how to undo four 13 mil nuts. Um, and then just like, just push this out. But I've had to put, I've had to hammer this back out here because this plate won't go other, other you know, it won't go that way. I was thinking about putting it this side, but you can see the curve. So uh, let's undo these. Right, I'll see if I can take this out one-handed. Put the other side on the camera. Okay, it's out. But... There. One airbag. Out. Cool. So now, I've got to punch this bit out, and hopefully that plate will come out. Okay, problem. You move this that way, and it hits that little tab there. So, I can only presume you have to bend that up. But then how would you bend it down? Oh dear. What a nightmare. So there you go, as I thought, I did get a little bit wrong. There's one of the bolts out, so if you just undo that there, and then that plate just comes out. The video I'm in one hand, and there you go. So now that should just slide out. But probably won't have to take that out anyway. But saying that, yes I do. Because this here has got to be cut off so that a plate can be welded. There you go, I'll come out a bit. This has to be cut off. And then a plate can be welded underneath here. All the way, all the way across. And then plated there. And hopefully that'll be as strong as what it should be. Sealer there. So I'm gonna have to bash this out a bit. Oh, will it come out? Oh. Right, I'm just gonna bash it out. Okay, I've taken the plate out. As you can see, it's scraped along here. So I can only imagine that the chassis has dropped a little bit away to, ma to mark this. Because I wouldn't have thought that put that plate in while the chassis was like that angle. So I can only presume that this has got to go up a little bit and then because uh, that have to be welded underneath and then tapped in here and then plated over and hopefully won't have any more repercussions say so, this has got to be cut off 
What a nightmare. Never mind. Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday. And yesterday, as you can see in the video, previous bit, a bit before, um, I spent a bit of time underneath. And then I decided, right, I need to walk away from it, to be fair. So um, I went for a really nice walk up Arundel, over the hill, and just sat there for probably about, well, from one o'clock till six o'clock. It was really, really nice, just, just relaxing, just, just looking up at the sky, watching uh, birds of prey. Um, I have no idea what kind of birds they are. <laughs> Brown birds that hover, kestrels, sort of, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was just like, I just had to chill out, just, just had to get away from the van. I was actually, I did drive the van there, but yeah, it's making some horrible banging noises. Well, hopefully that would just be the spare wheel slightly loose, um, or something that's in the back. It is, it is what it is. So today, I'm going to take the other airbag off on the uh, passenger side and then um, hopefully uh, cut the bump stop plates off. So I'm going to do that. I've got my coffee. So I'm going to have my coffee and then I'm going to crack on. Right, I've welded a plate underneath. Um, I had to blowtorch all the uh, real thick Mercedes-Benz seam sealer here, so I've built that up and I've let that go off overnight, so it's nice and solid now. So, when I welded the patch on, which I welded, it's just like here, um, on the edge, and a slightly bit over the edge, but I'll just cut it out. Um, I actually spray painted the plate with some weld through primer. So it looks like a zinc primer. Because the last thing I want to do is put a weld of plate on there and it's going to go rusty. So uh, that's all done and ready for painting. So now I've bought some uh, black uh, stone chip, not schutz, because I hate the stuff, I hate schutz. Um, it just covers up a multitude of sins. But So hopefully I can blend it in, set the pressure up on the compressor and uh, get a nice textured finish like that and then uh, repaint it in the hammerite uh, all ready for the Raptor paint. I know it's probably a bit too many layers of paint, probably people are saying well why don't you just Raptor it straight over, well I want it to look like, I want it to look like this. So another bit of OCD, unfortunately that's why I'm going to do it. So I've done a really good repair there and hopefully it'll just look as you know, good as new, factory finished. And then onto that. So that'll have to be cut off. So I'm gonna bark up the compressor and paint that bit. Right, so here I am, just using Blackstone chip from Euroco Parts and their product code is 5537791960. Right, I'm just using Tetrasol Stone Chip from Euro Car Parts. There's the part number, 553771960. Uh, I think it's about seven quid. So, got my ship's gun, and I'm just gonna uh, take that bit now.
Right, pretty good much, pretty much the same sort of texture. Quite happy with that. And I've larapsed it underneath. So you can see the lines. I think that's good enough. Yeah, I'm extremely happy with that. It's almost like an invisible repair. But coming out, that's just the original. I was thinking about rubbing it down actually, but then, because dirt can collect in there. But, yep. Yeah. I'm happy with that. I'm extremely happy with that. So on to now. I wait for this to go off a bit and then uh, clap this off. But in the meantime, I'm going to take the other airbag off. Well, as you can see, I've prepared the area. I want to put a thick plate welded to the back here, welded at the top there, welded all the way and at the bottom and at the back and to do that I had to take off the bump stop plate sorry for the light so basically I cold chiseled it off um, it took quite a while but the plate still goes in you know, if I do want to put the airbags on, that still goes in. I can do it with one hand. So yeah, there you go. That's the tools I use. Copper hide hammer. A Milwaukee uh, angle grinder. Map gas. That was the map gas was to heat this up. So I could get the uh, all the under seal, the Mercedes Benz under seal, because they do laps on there, which is quite good. But yeah, the trouble with airbags and Mercedes Benz Sprinters, they split. So I've got to get it welded. I've got to do, I've got to prepare the other side. So uh, there's no point in me showing you that because at the end of the day, I'm just going to be repeating myself. So there you go. Um, trouble with Mercedes Benz Sprinters and airbags. They split the chassis. So thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video.